Yes, bees will eat other things than honey and pollen. Here I'm feeding bees sugar water in spring, and uh, beekeepers also do it in the fall to help the bees gain weight in their hives so they have enough to get them through a winter or to help them get going in the summer, especially if we have bad cold weather. A man in New York, this is like 10 years ago, he found bright red honey in his hives, and it turned out the bees had found maraschino cherry juice, and they brought that back to the hive to make honey. And here we have blue honey. This was in France, and the bees had gotten into the blue coloring used for M&Ms. So that made some wonderful looking honey. None of this honey can be sold. Now, bees will also go to fruit like watermelon, cantaloupes, um, anything sweet that's fruity, they can go and collect it. And you can see this photo here that these watermelons laid out are absolutely covered in bees. And it wouldn't just be honeybees that would come. It would be other kinds of bees and bumblebees and wasps as well that would come to this. Now, I remember after the city did some trimming of some trees that I had in the spring, these trees were leaking sap, and there was tons of insect activity around these trees. And it was years later that I realized when I became a beekeeper that that was bees eating maple sap, not maple syrup. This is the sweet, liquidy it's like sugar water, basically, because I've, I've made maple syrup and I've tasted it when it is sap before it's boiled down and thickened. And they will collect this sap, take it back to the hive, and they will make honey from it. Now, the reason why you can never purchase maple syrup honey is because it's very, very early spring is when the trees are running with the sap. And at that time of year, the bees need that food for themselves. A beekeeper absolutely cannot take food from them in early, early spring. So that's why we never get to try it or eat it. But it does exist. <laughs>